Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. In this episode, we will be using this lightweight filler to smooth out our PLA print. I found this lightweight filler in the warehouse and wanted to test how well it goes with PLA. We have to mix the jar thoroughly from bottom to top and then I'll take some out and then put it onto our glass plate. We have to mix some cream hardener into it afterwards and the color will turn blue, like this. Mix the two chemicals thoroughly and then we can start to apply it. Let's start the application. This is actually pretty easy to apply to our print. Try to smooth it out as evenly as possible. Wait, the filler already dried up and hardened, and that was less than 10 minutes. I guess you definitely have to work fast when dealing with this type of filler. I guess I can't use any of this anymore. After the primer dries and hardens, we can start sanding the surface down. After we've done that, we'll spray it with a coat of primer to see how well it went. And after it dries up, we can take a closer look at it. Let's see. It looks pretty good so far. We can clearly see the difference here. The top part was filled with the filler, but the bottom was left as it was. And you can still see the lines. Here's the side where we applied the filler. It is very smooth to the touch the top as well. If we go back to the side where we applied the filler, it is very smooth. If we go to the other side which the filler wasn't applied, we can see the separate layers and it is not as smooth to the touch. Well there we have it, we tried using a lightweight filler to smooth out our PLA print, and it works. The print was smooth after the application and it shows all the gaps in between layers being filled up. I think this filler is good for larger surfaces, but for finer details, it will cover it up. Another thing is you definitely have to work fast with it or it'll dry up pretty quick. Overall, I quite like this lightweight filler. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Tinkering New. The platform has a lot of teaching resources like 3D printing courses, Steam challenges, and CAD tutorials. So be sure to check it out. That's the end of our experiment today. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up, and if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments we'd like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.